It's time to get some revenge. I'm a very petty person. So petty that I want those guild masters, that Zara guy shop. We should let that shit burn down. If I see a monster and I'm patrolling the streets to see who I should save, and if I see Zara's shop on fire, I'm gonna go fucking help the monsters, bro. Let's go, demons. Now, Mio was even more cruel than what I'm even talking about right now. Last episode, that's um, Irumi, or whatever, the blonde kid that took the roids and turned into a monster. He was like, please, listen to me. I have enlightened myself. I wish for atonement. Let me serve as Hibiki Shield. And Mio's like, no, fuck you. Why don't you just tell me your life story? Go away. She is just so fucking savage. It's great to be reminded of, of you know, who these characters really are about. Mio don't got time for that. She don't give a fuck. Now, today's episode. Hopefully, less yapping and more killing. Let's begin today's reaction. Today, but not this episode, right? You're gonna troll me? The unruly merchant. Makoto? Makoto, maybe. Oh my god! Fucking trash Mauki is fucking showing up, bro. Oh fuck, that Tomauki motherfucker. I will never say his name correctly. That trash, right? Because, like, Lily said, don't worry. The hero is coming. It's, he's just gonna fuck shit up. Watch him get here and just fucking ruin it. Also, cameraman, why you. Is that a bulge? Anyways. Stevens will protect it. That's the idea. I'll be down for that. I'll be so down for that. Yes. I don't want to die. <laughs> she had to get one in there. We'll work together to defend this place. Protect the students. And Shiki! I want that lich dick! Okay, they're gonna be babysitting. Mm. Oh, look at the squad walking up. It's like a movie scene. あれは若様が呼んだ二人ですね。レンブラントも来ており、もしちゃダメだからね。uh, which means she will. Yes, Mio. I'm so tired. Dude, I just want there to be a moment where we humiliate Zara. That piece of shit deserves what he has coming. Let him suffer. Oh, they're good. They're good. This piece of shit, bro. This piece of shit. Ugh. It's goddess and then this guy. You actually care? So Is he actually not a bad person? Did I focus too much on him having personal insults at Makoto? Was that whole scene? Did I interpret it incorrectly? He does. Oh, because of the lizard people outside. We helped them out. So he's being a little bit nicer. And Rembrandt's been glazing us up. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> right, it's not just Rembrandt. Rembrandt is his last name. Never knew what his real name was. Pat. Alright, Pat. Pat and Zara. Within a matter of seconds, while the trumpet was playing. If we took out 15 that quick and there's only 9 left, things should be pretty easy, but I hope things aren't easy. Neo still looks so pissed, bro. Mio's had that stink eye the entire time. I still wish the worst of him. Mio versus Shiki? Dangerous request, man. Mio! What would she even ask for? 
Tomo is gonna be so upset that she got she missed out on this. I hope Mio wins, and then Mio is gonna be like, let me eat you. It's probably gonna be something sexual that Mio is gonna say, right? Fifty mercenaries, three days to take down four mutants, and us, four dudes, just fucking, Doo -doo -doo! fucking trumpet playing. Get out of here. Fifteen skill issue. It's not fair to compare these fucking mercenaries, right? It's not even close. On the way here, yes. I guess this is one way of flexing, like indirect flex, right? Him realizing that Makoto was not the kind of person that he realized and he's feeling insecure and kind of like, I don't know, beneath him. It's not enough. I, I need the fucking mutant to be almost eating him and then for Mio to like say, nah, I'm not helping. He's the main character, bro. Humans are looking at the superficial things, the exterior. He is kind of just price cutting everybody, huh? Killing people. Fuck the goddess! I spit at her name! Kind of glad Rembrandt also says fuck the goddess in an indirect way. That's a great line! A man needs to be insolent to make his ideal reality. I kind of have an idea what insolent means, but the actual dictionary explanation is showing a rude and arrogant lack of respect. Basically having a little bit of defiance. If you want your ideals to become reality, you need to be selfish. You need to have that some kind of ego. You need to be willing to believe in yourself when no one else does. Doesn't mean look at other people as trash, but like you need to believe in yourself when no one else does. <sighs> Universal healthcare, amazing. <laughs> Fuck the goddess. <laughs> I'm so damn. <laughs> Rembrandt's like, yeah, fuck the goddess, bro. <laughs> that means I'm getting my fucking bag. If I'm getting the money, then fuck the goddess. I don't know if Rembrandt is really siding with Makoto over the goddess more so than he is siding with money over the goddess. Obviously, Makoto will lead him to the prophets, but, you know, it's nice to see just like a shameless person just admit it. His desires like, yeah, I'm chasing the bag. Fuck you. Fuck the goddess. I'm getting my money. I love him. I love him. Let's go, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> Just profit off the war, that's right. Or times, obviously. You're trying to make me feel bad. Let's fucking send him off to meet his family in hell then tonight. What was that? Rembrandt basically said. Rembrandt said. Since then, after the shit went down, you and I have traded like mad relying only on ourselves and money. And that's why Zara doesn't like Kuzunoa. I think he'll come around eventually. This dude. <laughs> he was like, hmm, I don't like Makuto. <laughs> I don't like how we run this business. <laughs> and the Rembrandt's like, yo, my daughter, though. Huh? Huh? Oh, she was she looking real nice. That's fucked up. Shifu looks like his old wife, Lisa. That is so sus. What the fuck? That's your best friend's daughter who kind of looks like your old wife. Yo, this dude, this Zara dude. You blushing, you blushing. What the fuck is going on here, bro? They might be more than just friends.
<laughs> They're way more than friends, bro. <laughs> what the hell go? <laughs> no, it was like a lock. It was like a lock. It was his foot. It was his foot. Was... Anyways, anyways. Anyways. As in, only the rich people get saved. Cool, our reputation gets better. Brem Brem fucking coerced Zara with Shifu, bro. That's why he's helping now. That's my head cannon. Motherfucker, dude. Sorry, it's not motherfucker. It should be daughter fucker. <laughs> hey! <laughs> That was the cutest kick. I thought this A kick would send the mutant flying. Dude, this kick should have been so strong. <laughs> Boom! Oh, right, there's three left now. Yeah, Tomoe, you missed out. You missed out, Tomoe. I'm sorry. Tomoe missed out. Ignored. Oh, more four stogers. <sighs> That's the banana guy too, right? Let's go, Mondo! I love his voice actor. What is it? Some Hashirama level fucking magic. I don't know, tree magic. Lime Latte, I wanna see him fight. I'm not completely sure what Rona's plan was with this. What the fuck do you want, bro? Yeah, let's fucking leave. Let's fucking leave. I did the monster's attack and he's screaming like, Please save me, bro. Fuck this guy. I hope he dies. Oh. Kill the old man, Eris. That's right. We need to protect them by killing the old man. Kill the principal. They have a killer technique. I forgot! I forgot! This is during the fucking uh the showcase of all the different demi playing people showing their new moves, right? That's right, they got it. And then, what was it? Didn't they have some kind of barrier or some shit? And then Makoto was like, well, I'll just dig a little bit underneath and it'll just work anyways. Let's see it. Solo version. Alright, Eri- Ow! This is very lewd. You know what? Good call about the Sailor Moon thing, because even before this happened, I noticed something about the way that Eris, like, um, opened her eyes right here. This is Sailor Moon. Right? This is straight up the background of the Sailor Moon girls when they do henshin, right? So there's like a little bit more references. Obviously, they're kind of just showing that there's this like magical girls. <laughs> what about coquettes? <laughs> Who taught you this? Who taught you this? You're like, wait, wait, not that one. That's for the bedtime later. <laughs> All right, here it is. That's not so cute, this, but uh, we got another barrier kind of deal. Good question. They did not think that through. <laughs> Can any students turn into a mutant within? Assuming nothing inside goes wrong, yeah. They're gonna get punished. No more bananas for a week. Trash Moki might show up soon. Fuck that guy, bro. Are we gonna get punished? No more bananas for a week. Hmm? Then we go to Demon Continent. Fuck this place. We did protect this place. But humans are so trash. To protect the kids. I love Eris. We just dug underneath again, right? 
集まってるあたり多分首謀者っぽいのがいる首謀者 I thought the mutants were just transformations after Rona gave out those I forget Rona gave out like devices or something right they all triggered but there is a mastermind here luxurious houses equipment to attract mutants okay お金持ちあら大変富裕層が多く住む地域助かるよもったいないお言葉アクアの結界暴発も許してあげてほしい、はあ、I mean the sunset is setting so I guess they need it Oh, it's the girl from not Japan, but you know. Sama! Oh, she's really glazing us now. Oh, the teleportation. Sword. But the lore of the sword, you know. Root. How delightful that we're capable of surprising even the great Banshokudono, which is loot. So, loot is basically acknowledging this barrier, which is a huge feat for Aqua and Eris, right? I, I think so. Aqua Eris getting a little bit of doves here and there. Not just Rona. The people in the luxurious places? Who was Rona working with potentially? I'm not sure. Mirai's没有什么东西在我身上。Destiny? That's a sign. What was Root talking about there? Destiny? Okay. Basically undid a bunch of shit that the demons were working on with that firework? I'm not completely sure what just happened, but okay. My bad, it's not teleport. Yeah, you're right, you're right. It's it's telepathy. Telepathy being restored, not not teleport. Oh, Toto. They're under attack? They're under attack right now. Wait, wait, wait. What? They're all dispatched? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ! Mask off. Mask off. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my god. What the, what the fuck was that, Lily? What? I, I guess it's better than panicking? Holy shit, Lily? Oh! Demons are marching in. Star Lake is the lake that we created in season one, right? This was a decoy? The real attack was somewhere else? And Root knew. So basically, this place right now is being under attack. Well, we know the mutants, right? But it was all just a decoy to distract while the demons actually march on to everyone else's kingdoms here while all the people have been just kind of dispatched and kind of just gone. So interesting. How are we gonna resolve this multiple nations at one? Oh, I know. We just send one person to each kingdom. We just send Makoto to this place and Tomoe to this place and Mio to other place and Shiki and it'd be, it'd be so fucking easy. And yeah, it did look like Root knew what was going on based on his thing of like, like before when he was talking with like uh, Tomoe, right? It, it did seem like he did understand what's going on. Please save our nation. <laughs> She's still shutting up. And that's the episode. Damn, I thought that I was gonna get a little bit of more. I, I wanted more than a little bit. I wanted a lot of petty vengeance. But Zara, honestly, he doesn't seem that bad of a person. Actually, I take the words back. He was being very sussy with Rembrandt's sister, Shifu, who apparently looks like his late wife. What the fuck?
fuck was that? Looks like Patrick doesn't seem to mind, but anyways, sussy merchants. They're willing to kind of like basically say fuck the goddess for the money, which is, I love it. It's so based. I hate the goddess and like the way that they're just so shamelessly saying, Let me, let's get our fucking bag. Let's just side with Magoto. I'm like, you know what? This is very relatable. I fucking love it. Aqua and Eris have some great scenes. Monda never gets any scenes, but Mo sorry, Mondo. Mondo and, you know, Lime Latte. They've been fucking, they, they've been, you know, kind of put on the back burner, but it was cool to see them have a Gamon. And Aqua and Eris had a cool scene too. But yeah, I, I thought we were going to get like an actual pop-off, but the pop-off is not happening. When am I gonna get my fucking pop-off, dude? Every, like, the moment the demons attacked, I was like, oh shit, pop-off episode. But then the, every episode has just been kind of, like, quote-unquote slow when trying to address the situation, trying to figure out who to delegate to where and, and basically just save everybody. But it's looking like this is the actual time for pop-off because the attack in this place was a decoy and the demons are actually after you know the kingdoms the nations of the important people that's already here so with our teleportation right with you know our important characters tomoe shiki makoto and mio wonder if it's gonna be as simple as to just send one person to a fucking city and they'll just save them i don't know but we gotta resolve it all in one go but anyways that's it for me if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for more content and until next time Take care.